Do you need to understand and use Linux to become an expert uh, developer? Let's talk about that in today's video. Welcome back, my name is Tim Pachaka with another programming tip of the day. And the question again was, do you need to understand and use Linux to be considered as an expert developer? Well, the short answer is no. But in years gone by, there probably was something that uh, was a bit of a, a, a just a general opinion out there that uh, Linux programmers, people who understood Linux very well, were the expert developers. But that's sort of changed these days with the advent uh, of modern tools, which are available generally on all three platforms, certainly on Windows, Mac, and uh, in many cases on Linux. The requirement to know and understand Linux to be considered an expert developer isn't really there. I mean, it won't hurt to have the skills, because depending on where you go to work, you might find, well, we will find that they will have a particular environment. So you might work for a particular company and they're focused on Linux. That's their infrastructure. That's their development environment. So obviously in that scenario, you'd need to understand and uh, be productive in Linux. But uh, in other cases, and what I've seen largely out there, is many shops actually have a mixture. They have uh, Windows desktop machines for most developers to do their basic development work. And they've certainly got Linux machines as well for perhaps for deploying the applications they're creating um, or for our specialized people for particular tasks, you know, system admins and so forth who are using Linux. So in general, no, you don't need to be a Linux, uh, basically a Linux user or guru to uh, be considered an expert uh, developer these days. Just one final thing I'll add though, try and get uh, used to, even if you're using uh, a Windows machine or a Mac, try uh, getting up to speed a little bit with the command line. That can be really useful because a lot of uh, programming out there these days programming shops will, ha will have a need to use command line, to use the command line to access things. You I mean, you certainly won't be creating programs completely at the command line because that's why we've got modern IDEs like IntelliJ and Eclipse and so forth. They um, have got so much functionality built in to make it much easier for developers to be productive. So you won't need to do all your programming in there, but if you know the basics of a command line tool, how to navigate into different folders, copy files and so forth, it, you can be quite productive. And to give you a bit of a background, that's really where I've come from. I've focused largely on the command line. So I ran Linux myself for a number of years. That's my desktop platform. These days I'm using Macs. But I still do a lot of my work at the command line because that's what I'm used to. But uh, those are skills you don't necessarily need to have. But if you've got them, they'll probably be considered a bonus on your resume. Alrighty, so I hope that helped. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. If you're ready to look at the next tip, click on up here and you can check that out. If you're interested in coding specific programming videos, click on the link in the bottom left hand corner. Consider subscribing by clicking on the link up here and I'll see you soon.